Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to the Lex Kitchen. So bringing the face to life is just half of the battle. The body needs to reflect the vocal performance as well. So we were working on another technology called audio to gesture. Amazing increase in system and memory bandwidth, the basic building block of the modern data center. What this does is take the same audio input and output uh, gestural qualities that are reflected in what he's actually saying. In order to do this, we hired an actor to learn Jensen's physicality by studying past keynote events. We had him get into a motion capture suit, record eight hours of him reading past transcripts of Jensen keynotes, at the same time physically mimicking Jensen's performances. That eight hours become the training set that would be driven by Jensen's unique audio delivery for the current keynote. Now you actually just can provide a voice and it'll have body motion. We had so many variety of Jensen to pick from. We had a 21 version. And each take, each time we do an update, there's 21 of them to choose from in different varying performance. It was actually getting to the point where I'm actually casting because they were all performing well. So in today's video, we're going to talk about NVIDIA Omniverse. Omniverse is a software where it has multiple AI solutions and a connector with a 3D software. You can run these AI solutions with any 3D software or even Photoshop. This is going to be announced at Seagraph on Wednesday, like the 11th of August. Yeah, make sure that you don't miss it. So let me show you how it looks like. Um, so first thing when you download it, it looks like this. Some solutions here that you can try out, but what's important for me that I found out like very interesting is audio to face and I will get back to this. So first let me show you we have apps and connectors and this connector is, is the connection between the 3D software and Omniverse itself. So you have Max, Maya and Unreal, some other softwares and there were Photoshop. I checked it actually at the trailer. So let's hope it, it's also in the next release. And yeah, this is Omniverse audio to face. It's very interesting because it just takes a WAV file as an audio input or even live recording and it's going to animate a 3D character base and based on the input. So let me show it to you. It looks as simple as that. Um, here you have a, a face and here you have an audio file. And let me show you first like the, um, the mesh maybe with um, skin color. So that's how it looks like. And here is the WAV file, here's the audio source, and you can just simply click play. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. That's pretty cool. Like, it looks super nice, but I have one concern about the eyebrows. The eyebrows always move the same. It's like a wave just going up and down. But it still looks really good as a lip sync from an audio file. That's very cool. And on the other hand, you can also try the live one. And if I just go live, whatever I'm saying right now, he's going to repeat in the same way. And it also works with different languages, which is pretty dope. Because now I'm speaking English, but if I switch to Arabic and just say something in Arabic like Sabah al khair in the yum gamil giddan, it's going also to get it. Um, and it's actually nice with some words in German, like if you try to say like Streich holes, you're going to find out that it has a little bit of O, but it's not a real O. Streich holes, holes, yeah. It can really works well with, with game engines. I see that's like a quality of a, of a game where you don't have too much of expression, but it still can do it with just the audio. That's very cool. Like you don't care about blend shapes and stuff. And there is also a character transfer. And you can actually follow up the tutorial from here if you just go for learn. Omniverse is mainly not just for AI solutions actually, it's also for the RTX. So you can try out the capability of your um, graphic card with RTX solutions also, like RTX scenes and uh, what else? Simulations. Yeah like here so you can see um yeah audio to face app you can see how to character transfer for example so you can create your character in maya and you can just copy the animation from here yeah give it a try download the beta and check out um 
the next trailer is going to be on Wednesday, 11th of August. It's going to actually to be announced at, during Seagraph, so don't miss it. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye -bye. Now, here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right now. Boom, 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 boom.